I started out as a seamstress working for David's Bridal after I graduated high school. It's just sort of been a long progression to get here. It started out just in uh, the guest room of my house, and then it grew into the hallway, and then it grew into a second bedroom. I figured now was as good a time as any to branch out at the time into a commercial space. So we moved into what was available at the time, um, a strip mall in downtown Bloomington. It definitely worked for us at the time. Being so close to the college, you know, we had walk-ins before we even had sewing machines in the shop. Now we're in seven years of business uh, as a commercial space where we definitely had outgrown that space as well. I needed to hire an additional seamstress and there was nowhere to put them. So now we're here. My background is in theatrical costuming and bridal alterations, um, but I've focused in recent years on um, fitting like challenging body types, people who can't necessarily pick something up off the rack in the store, um, and just trying to make sure that any of the tailoring and alterations that we do uh, are accessible to people who might need them for gender affirmation purposes and anything along those lines. We try to make as much of a priority as we can to the LGBT community just because we're all a part of that community and you know we wouldn't be where we are today without them so um, I often tell people you know that we we do the bridal thing to pay the rent and because we're good at it um, and then you know hopefully with some of that extra time and money that we have, we can give back to our own community. I've just tried to make sure that the way that we're presenting ourselves publicly makes it maybe a little bit more obvious that this is a safe space, um, no matter you know what your body type or gender is. I just hope that uh, we can continue to grow as a business and stay busy enough to pay the rent. That's it. <laughs>